What's up, everybody? This is Dede from Zamunda Crew from France. Today, we're going to see some popping, how to pop the different body parts so we can play with it and freestyle with it. So to start with, we're going to do the wrists. So I will show you from the side. Uh, the idea is to hit an imaginary wall. So if I exaggerate, it's this. Okay? So you're going to put that same energy, but try to do one millimeter, okay? So instead of this, make it smaller, 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 smaller. Yeah? The most important thing is to really focus your energy in your wrist so that you don't um, use shoulders or elbows. It's really the energy is here and you hit the wall. Imagine a wall, huh? boom, 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 boom. When you have this, you can push to the front and you have it here. <laughs> yes. One important thing, do not break your wrist. There's no movement. I don't do motorcycle here. I use the power in the wrist and I push. Boom, boom, boom. Second important thing, I don't want to see stressed fingers. So I don't want to see this. I relax, relax my hands and I focus on the wrist. Voila. Second, the triceps. Let me show you my muscles. So the triceps, for the ones that don't know, it's this muscle here, okay? So one important thing in popping is the technique. So there is no, uh, how can I say, there's no movement. I don't turn my arms. I don't put my shoulders down. I control and focus where I want to pop. So right now I want to pop my triceps. Okay, so to see from the side, boom, boom. I contract my triceps. For that, a small little exercise is that you're gonna imagine you have something in your hands that you want to break. You get it here, you contract, contract, oh, you're so angry, you relax. Same, you relax. Same, relax, and it's the same thing, but one millisecond. So here, I relax, I relax. Very important to relax, contract, relax, contract in popping. So, I go, boom, I relax. Boom, I relax. Boom, I relax. And shorter. Boom, relax. Boom, relax. Boom, relax. Boom. Ta. Ka. 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 Yes? <laughs> so we saw the wrist and the triceps. So what we can do now is to play with one wrist. One wrist, triceps, triceps. Boom. Ta. Boom, ta, boom, ta, boom, ta, boom, ta, boom, ta. When you manage to control your wrist and your triceps, you can actually work on making it uh, stronger and harder. So uh, the idea, like I was saying earlier with the thing in your hand, is to um, like imagine that you break something that's in your hand like this, so it's you break it, you relax, break it, relax. So from having uh, this image in your head, you can really uh, push harder to have a harder pop. So if I do the exercise, I'm gonna close my hands here until really you have a full fist uh, and you relax. So boom, boom, boom. When you feel that power, then you can actually relax your hand and, and feel it in your triceps. Yes? Voila. So now that we have the arms covered, we're gonna do the legs. Uh, just so you know, there is two types of popping with the legs. There's the one front and the one back. So from the side, you can see here the difference. Back and front. So it's very important to know that when you do your leg pop, 
the back one, you use muscles. So it's your quadriceps and your butt muscles. So what you're gonna do is relax the leg. Okay, I put weight on it. And then I'm gonna contract until my leg is fully straight. And then I relax. I contract, boom. You see, so the muscles do the movement and I'm not, I'm not saying to myself, I push it back, okay? Because with this, otherwise you hurt your knee and that's not good. So, control muscles, boom, clack. And you relax, boom. And you relax, boom. And you relax. Now, because it's popping, you have to put a little bit of, uh, of, uh, how's it? of power. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on your heel. You're gonna imagine that you do this without doing this. So I'm gonna push back and relax. Contract, relax. Boom. Boom. Eh. Boom. So as you can see, my feet is on the floor. I'm not doing this. But the power, I imagine that I really um, punch the floor, like with the heel, okay? So you feel uh, the energy going down and all the way back up. If you put enough power, you should feel the vibration almost all the way to the top of your head. Okay, so I concentrate on those muscles, I relax, boom, and you relax straight, boom. You relax, boom, ta, boom, ta. For the front one, I'll show you, ta, ta, ta. So for this one, you're gonna imagine you are completely straight and somebody is gonna hit you on the top and you're gonna go to the ground. It's imagination. Huh? <laughs> So what you're gonna do is um, feel that you're falling to the ground. Boom, boom, yeah? But you're gonna catch yourself very, very, very fast. So instead of having this much of falling, it's gonna be two. Yes, so I do it and ka. And I relax, boom, and I relax, boom. And I relax, boom, relax. Very important thing is to, when you arrive at your destination, which is very close, <laughs> clack, you have still tension in your body so that your body doesn't get sloppy. So it's not boom. I hold my body, boom, and then I relax. Ka. Relax. Now we're gonna combine the arms and the legs. So we have pa, wrist. Triceps, triceps, knee, knee, back, back, wrist, wrist, pam, 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 ta, ta, boom, ta, boom, ta, boom, ta, boom, ta. Okay, now it's time to do it with the music. Ta, boom, boom, ta, 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 ta. So right now we're gonna see some balance exercise. Watch out, don't fall over. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna work on balance uh, today. So one thing that's very important in popping is your feet, okay? So uh, popping is a very grounded dance compared to house dance where it's more up. Popping is very, very much in the ground. So for that, I'm gonna use a lot, a lot, a lot of balance. Uh, to work on my balance, one thing to know is to have your feet completely um, flat to the ground and almost with your toes grabbing the floor, okay? So if I relax, I relax, and then if I want to really feel the floor, I'm gonna put my whole weight front and back, so really I'm in the middle of my feet, and I'm gonna put pressure in my toes to grab the floor, all right? One little test is to do some back and forth, uh, very fast and, and strong, to feel the strength in your leg. 
So do that um, multiple times. Switch legs. And I'm really like this, like a, like a bird in a tree, like holding the branch. I'm the same with the floor. So I hold it, yes. Here, 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 here. My core is tensed, yeah? Once you have both legs, you're gonna play with just one leg here. And you're gonna do the same. Find your balance. Boom, back and forth. So I go my weight from back to the front of my feet. So if I exaggerate, it's really doing this. All right? But I keep my foot to the floor. Boom, back and forth, back and forth. And switch, switch, switch. Yes? So what's very important is to feel, feel the ground, okay? You have to be um, very like heavy as a rock on the floor because if you're too light, like if I, I'm dancing like this, it's not gonna look as strong as if I'm here to the ground, right? Boom, I'm in the ground. Once you get it, you're gonna also work on being on your toes and heels. Toes, heels. From the side, toes, heels. Try to find balance. Here, slowly go down, boom. Slowly go up, down, boom. Boom. One extra exercise is to go from here to down, to just up. And slowly, 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 slowly go back down. One more time. I go up, slowly. I'm all the way to my toes. And down, boom. So once you get this controlled, right, you're gonna start playing with it. You can go from one foot to the other, boom, boom, a, boom, ha, pa, 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 boom. So to work on this balance, we're gonna do a small exercise, a small move. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so it goes like this. So it's uh, the same as walking, right? But you're gonna stay on one spot. So to give that effect, when I'm gonna step, I'm gonna bring it back so I can step again and bring it back. Boom, eh. I break it down slowly. I'm gonna take a step, right? But instead of stepping, it's like there is something that pulls me back, all right? So when I pull, my leg back, I do this exercise that we've been doing, going to my toes, okay? So, boom, pull it, shoom. Step, pull it, shoo. Step, pull it. Boom, ha, boom, ha. One important thing is to keep to have that nice effect, you try to keep it close to the floor. Don't touch the floor, but close and pa uh, parallel to the floor. So that it looks like you're just like floating more than this. Okay, if I exaggerate, it's this. All right, so I go from this to pulling it and putting a nice, little effect. Yes? Now, we have the legs. We have to add the arms for that. It's the most natural way possible. When you walk, you do opposite hands. I've never seen somebody walking like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> just use your natural way. Natural way, all right? So I'm gonna here, boom and go, and go, 
So you see my arms are nice and floating. So I don't pull it. I really try to keep something smooth and floating. Boom. Okay, so what's very important about this is not the actual move, which is actually important, but uh, it's not the difficult part. What's important is to uh, interpret this movement and how you're gonna use some images in your head, like thinking that you're either on a cloud or on the moon. It's uh, that relation with gravity, all right? If you wanna play even more with it, is to add a little bit of motion in your neck and your head so that it, there is like this movement of whom, whom, eh, eh. So it's more a feeling than a movement. So I'm not actually thinking, okay, I have to do this with my neck. I really have, have the feeling in my chest that it goes back and forth. And I just let my head loose and go with the flow, right? So when I'm gonna do this, because I exaggerate a little bit, boom, boom. I add some effect. So now that we have the steps, we're gonna try to put it on music. And because it's not something that uh, hits uh, the music, it's, you can play with rhythms. So you can either go fast or slow, stop it, go again, so let's see. Okay guys, so we're gonna work on the back leg pop. Um, for this, a really good exercise, so you can train uh, the timing on when to do it, to not hurt yourself, and how to use it to move around, okay? So we're gonna start just with this simple movement. Boom, ha, boom, e, boom, ha, boom. One more time, up, down, up, both legs. So I'm gonna break it down even slower. So you're gonna lift your left leg up. When I lift it up, I try to make a nice angle, 90 degrees. And then my feet parallel to the floor, okay? So I'm not this, I'm not like this. I really try to make it parallel, boom. So bam and down, up, down. Up, now the down, I'm gonna step forward and cross, okay? So, up, I step forward and cross, and I lift my other leg behind. Ready to go back on it, and then back to that position, and down. One more time, up, cross and step, put my weight on it, Lift your right leg, boom. Come back to that position, back to normal. The most important thing is to have your weight on the leg, okay? So that you don't look like this, <laughs> but you're on the leg. Here, I go forward, I'll put my whole weight on it. I go back, I'm on it, then I'm on both legs. And then to the other side, boom. Ta, boom, eh. Now, what you're gonna try to do is to have that little funk in you. <laughs> so keep that bounce, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Boom, ha, boom, eh, 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 boom. Ha, eh. Now, we're gonna add the popping. So, we're gonna use the back leg pop, all right? So for this one, so on each leg that you're standing on, that's where you're gonna pop. So here, 
pop. Then I step. When I'm here, pop. I go back, pop, and both legs, boom. Now I go to the other side, and pop, and pop, and pop, and both. Yes? So you see, it's I pop when my leg is up, my um, opposite leg. So if, for you, it's your left leg that's up, you're gonna pop with your right leg. You're gonna see it from the back, here, and pop. Again, and pop. Then I step, and pop, back, and pop, from both legs. Like I said in the beginning, what's very important is to have your balance so that on each leg that you're standing on, if you don't have balance, you won't be able to pop, okay? So here, balance. Go, boom. I go back, boom, 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 ta, boom, ha. So this exercise is very good to work on balance, on your leg pop, and how to uh, really play with moving around, okay? Okay guys, now that we have the step, we're, not, we're gonna try to do it with music. Okay, so first, just feel the music. And boom, and boom, and boom, and boom, eh, boom, 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 eh, boom, 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 ha, boom, 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 ha. Now we're gonna try to do it with the right tempo, which is on each count. Yes, so again, take the music. And five, six, seven, eight. Boom, ha, eh, one, two, eh, ha, and both. One, 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 and both. Yes? Now we're gonna see a little bit of vibration. This technique is pretty hard, but we're gonna get to it. So, um, we're gonna start just with the arms, to work with the arms, and then we can work with different parts of the body. So for the vibration, uh, many people think that it's a lot, a lot of force and tension to get to the point to shake, but it's not, because otherwise you won't be able to do vibration for more than three seconds, all right? So when you do vibration, you should be able to talk, all right? So I'm actually relaxed, as you can see, <laughs> but at the same time tense. So for that, we're gonna do just a simple movement, like this, open the arm. For that, you're gonna relax your body and do some back and forth movements. So you're gonna go back and forth, 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 until you get to the point of where you want to go. All right, so let's do it one more time. Back and forth. So if I exaggerate, it's this, huh? Right? But I'm gonna make it smaller, smaller, and smaller, and smaller, and smaller. Now that you have those um, shaking movement, like the back and forth movement, that's when you put a little bit of tension so that it doesn't just look like blah, 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 but with some control in it. All right? Boom, 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 boom. Yes? Very, very important, breathe. So I'm not like this, otherwise you would see me completely red. I'm breathing. The good uh, thing is to actually talk when you do it so you can get used to and make sure that you're breathing. So then you can say, okay, now I'm practicing vibration. Let's do this. Okay, at the beginning, it's gonna be very frustrating because it's, you have to find the right spot between being tensed and being relaxed, all right? So this is what's the arm. So everything you do, okay, now we did just the opening arm. 
But let's say you want to go up like this with your arms. It's the same. So the movement is going this way. But what I'm going to do is shake back and forth, 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 back and forth. If I exaggerate, it's this. All right, exaggeration. Make it smaller. Make it smaller. Make it smaller. Yes, this is it. Smaller, smaller, smaller. And then you add some little bit of power and you get this. And breathe, right? So anywhere you want to do it. So it's the same technique as whatever. For the leg, it's the same. Uh, if I want to be from here to down, it's going to be the same thing that I go back and forth, back and forth. It's like, I want to go, but I don't want. I want to go, but I don't want, right? So it's like, ah, no, ah, no, ah, no, eh, no, eh, no, eh, no. So you make it, instead of this much of a distance, you make it this much of a, uh, of a distance. So back and forth. Bam. Smaller. Bam. Even smaller. Bam. Now I put power. Bam. One more time. Where I put power? Here. I really push down. You have to think that you have something under that uh, you want to push it to the floor. So what I do is like I really, really put my yeah, energy towards my heels. So one more time, I push to the floor. Bam, 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 And push, 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 push. So we did this one down, but one more exercise. Let's say you want to go from back to front. Gonna be the same thing. I shake, shake, shake. Shake. If I do it big, exaggeration is this. Huh. Make it smaller. Pa, 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 pa. Smaller. And with power. One more time. Yes. Now there is one important for when you're just being on your two legs and you want to use your core. So for example, like when you're here and you want to go up or down, it's the same. I use my two knees and I just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? It's the same technique and I go down. And same, I put power, pressure to the bottom of my foot on the heels. Yes. Let's see on music. Today we're going to see an exercise about directions in the space. For that we're going to use the cube. All right? Let's go. Not only for popping, but for any styles of dance, you have to think 360 degrees, all right? Because you have to think this dance comes from a, so it's a social dance. It comes from ciphers. So when you dance in a cipher, you're not dancing just frontal. You have to dance for everybody that's around you, okay? So for now, for this, we're gonna use, um, Imagination again, a cube. So I'm gonna imagine that I'm myself inside a cube, right? So we have this face, this face here, here, the front, the back, the floor, and we have those corners. Diagonal corners, boom, 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 ta, ta. Right? Can you see the cube? When you're gonna start your freestyle, you're just gonna try to touch each face of the cubes, boom, 
I mean, I say touch, but it's like, a, if you think that the cube is all the way to the floor, you can go all the way to the floor, or you can stay here. It's just facing directions. Ha, 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 ha. And then the corners. Boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ta, boom, ba, boom, ha, ha. And you have up, down with your head. You can use to look. You can be opposite. You can be the same direction or use different angles. So then your dance looks more uh, 360 degrees and more volume than just being frontal, like how you would do when you're dancing in front of a mirror. All right, so let's try a small exercise with those uh, corners. We're gonna do, use the walkout, right? So as you can see, it's doing this corner, this corner, and you're gonna come back. So, boom, boom, come back. Now you're gonna add some arms. Diagonal up, tack, tack. So, boom, ta, boom, eh, boom, ha, boom, eh, boom, ha, boom. You're gonna use your head facing that face, facing, turn, look it back. Turn, look, turn, all right? So we have, boom, ha, eh. I look, I go to the direction, I look, I go to the direction, I look, go to the direction, all right? So five, six, seven, eh, boom, ta, boom, ta, boom. Ta, boom, ta, boom, hey. Okay, so when you're gonna twist your body here, you're gonna go to your right. So I do right, left, look, right, left, look, right, left. And now, just for the last one, we're gonna use up, down, up and look forward. All right, so we have twist in your body, twist with the head, twist with the arms. So it goes like boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, boom, ha, boom, boom, ha, boom, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom. Yes? Let's try with music. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, faster. Yes? Now, I want to challenge you with the same, but when we do those neck of flex, switching directions, I want you to use arms. So, for example, here, 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 here. Yes? Let's try. And five. Eh. 